so hi everyone in this video i'm going to show you my new mem config so it will be in two part this is part one so let me open up the terminal and i'll cd into the config directory of new mem and i'll op increase the size of font a little bit and let's open up new mem so, so as you open up new mem uh first thing you see is the dashboard so the thing you are seeing right now is because of a plugin called dashboard and i have added a sweet cicada logo looks pretty cool and then you have four options to either to create a new file competitive which i'll show you later find files and find history which i'm going to demonstrate right now so this is dashboard and at the bottom the status bar which you are seeing is because of a plugin called lua line so this is lua line to open a file or to find file or search a file i use a plugin called telescope so if i run telescope and find files and i can find for any file let's say i want to open up init lua init lua I can search for let's say I want to open up config for dashboard so I can do dashboard if I want to open up uh, config for Lua line I can do that also so Lua line so this is my Lua line config so searching for any files very quickly telescope go for telescope and telescope has a lot of features I use only three of them so the second thing I use from uh, that uh, telescope it is going or searching for the git commits so if i do telescope telescope git and i want to search for git commits i can search for let's say i want to search for all the zsh rc commits i have made so i can search for zrc and these are all the zsh rc config uh, commits i have made so far and if i hit enter to any one of them it will check out to that git commit okay so that was telescope for get commits and the th third thing i use a lot from telescope it is go like searching for the old files so the files uh, which you have opened recently so i can go for telescope and then old files old files and let's say in the old files i want to open up my i2c file for python i2c python and this is the old file so this is my i2c file for python so telescope has a lot of other features also so you can go through them it has ton of features i use only three of them okay so that was telescope and then okay uh, let me first tell you the theme i'm using so the theme is material theme dark uh, specifically ocean dark so it is material theme and the flavor of it is ocean dark so material ocean dark theme okay and the sweet syntax highlighting which you are seeing right now it is done like using a plugin called tree setter okay so the syntax highlighting is because of tree setter and for tree setter you have to in install the required language packages so if i go ts and install info uh, so I go to install info so here you can see all the language packages you have for tree setter and i have installed only few of them which i use on a daily basis so so syntax highlighting tree setter okay and then comes the next plugin which is lsp so for doing the auto completion thing i'm you i use lsp which is which stands for language server protocol and to manage uh for lsp specifically uh basically i have two plugins first is lsp config uh, which is the like neovim's own uh plugin uh, like which you install uh, it is to manage the lsp things and second one is lsp cmp so for lsp cmp is for auto completion so i can show you right now so if i do d e f so i have you can already start to see the auto completion stuff so i go for def and let's say i log and i log value and let's say i i want to print it out so i can do p r i so you can see the auto completion stuff it's pretty cool so print and log value log value and done that's it okay log log value okay and you can just return return none okay that's that's the auto completion and uh lsp also have 
diagnostics so to demonstrate diagnostic let's uh, let me open up a new file so i'll go for telescope and then old files and i want to open up a uh, open up a cpp a c++ file called solution solution okay so this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, c++ file and let's say uh, i want i add some jargon stuff asdf asdf okay so i added some jargon and as i hit escape uh, at the bottom you can see uh, cross two so it shows there are two errors so by default i turn off the diagnostics okay i don't want some fans like cr uh, red stuff to appear on my screen and i can turn on the diagnostic also so if i do leader dd so i have turned on diagnostic and here you can see all the errors okay so these are the errors and diagnostic not only show you the errors it show you some warnings it show you so let's say i do a warning over here which is a using a gets function and i pass a gets okay i use gets function and then i hit add thing over here so uh okay leave it leave it for now okay so this is how you can use lsp and lsp diagnostics and lsp uh, auto completion so that was lsp and uh, i'll show you three more plugins which i have right now so how to open up a terminal inside neovim i use toggle term so i have banded it to f1 key so if i press f1 uh, you can see you got a terminal window at the bottom so i'll clear okay i can go to the uh, i can go to the home directory i can come back to that i can ls so i, I can even compile stuff so i can do like g pp g, g plus plus solution cpp and here i have compiled and there is an error so to open up terminal uh, in the neovim i use toggle term the another plugin i have it is a uh, nvim tree so to op which is like this so nvim tree uh let's say i go over here and if i press f7 it is nvim tree so I can go back to my home directory and I can open up. So it's like a, a file manager inside inside the NeoVim. So this is NVM tree. I can do a lot of stuff. If I want to, let's say uh, I go to repositories, my DWM, and if I want to open up my DWM config, which is config dev.h. And if I hit enter, I can open it. So this is a, uh, uh, you might have used node tree in uh, Vim. And this is uh, same for new Vim and Vim tree. So that was pretty much it. I'll show you another feat, another plugin which I have, which is presence. Which it is to like show the presence on Discord. So if I open up Discord and press on my, so here you can see new Vim, uh, like it show your presence on Discord. So that so that's it for this video so i have shown you like a lot of like uh first one is dashboard then lua line material theme telescope presetter lsp toggle term uh, and nvim tree and presence so these are the plugins i have showed you in this video and rest of the stuff i'll show you in the next video and i'll link all the plugins in the description you can check them out and another thing, uh, this, uh, the, my personal config, it is on my GitHub. Okay. You can check that out. So it's, uh, under 3301 and in my Linux setup, you can go to config and then here it is my neovim config. So this is my neovim config inside. So at the, at the, in the neovim config, you have two things, Lua and init. So init basically have the initialization. It doesn't have much thing and then in lua you have bindings for key bindings general and plugins so in plugins i have mentioned all the plugins which to be installed okay and in plug config you have all the config for all the plugins you can go through them and check them out so that was it see you in the next